Hi, John with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Takancha Trailer Wiring Kit on our 2019 Chevy Volt. So one of the nice things about this kit is that when it's not in use, you don't see it. It actually gets stored inside the compartment here. And when you do need it, you just go ahead and grab it, drape it over your weather strip. And you, of course you want to avoid the latch and everything, but it's perfectly fine to go ahead and close it. And then when you're in use, go ahead and use it like that. When you're done, simply throw it in your cargo hatch. Now this kit is going to give you the essential lighting features that you need for your trailer. It's going to be left turn, right turn, running lights, and brakes. It's a four-way flat, which is the most common type of connector available. Now this kit is controlled by a module which has its own power wire. Basically, it's going to mimic what your car does and supply its own power to your trailer. That way you don't have to worry about uh, overloading your system uh, on the car or backfeeding into your car. It's going to keep your car safe. Um, as far as installation on this Volt, um, it really wasn't too bad. Uh, it connects right up to the factory connectors at your tail lights. We had to pull apart some panels on the inside, um, but overall it was pretty easy. Uh, if you stick around, we'll show you how we did it. Okay, we've got our Volt pulled into the bay here. Let's go ahead and get this kit installed. To start with, we're going to be taking three T15 screws out. got one on the bottom here and it has a washer. These other two don't. Now everything I'm doing on this side to get this out is going to be the exact same on the passenger side. Once we have our screws out here, kind of give it a little tap left and right. These come straight out. so. Just give it a pull. You're going to have a wiring harness up here on top that needs to be removed. It's going to have a red lock on it. Just slide that. Slide that back. You'll be putting downward pressure right here and pull that off. Okay, so we have our tail lights removed. We're going to come into the inside of the vehicle here and we'll lift up our floor covering and just kind of pull up on it and we'll get this out of the way. And this is going to expose our lightweight floor pan here that we need to remove. So we'll start with this wing nut. Get this out of the way. And then the rest of this pan is simply held in by clips. We can just pull up and then remove the pan. So with the floor out, we're going to go ahead and prep the inside here. We're going to be pulling the panels out. And we can start first on this one. This simply unlatches and comes out. Next, we can take a trim removal tool, uh, or you can use a screwdriver. We're going to pop this tab out. And we're going to go ahead and this center section is going to come out in one piece. We'll just grab towards the bottom here and lift out and up. Set this off to the side. Next we're going to take off the driver side panel. That We can begin here by unscrewing this. Now everything I do on this side is going to be the exact same on the passenger side. Then we're going to have tabs on our tie-down hooks here. I have a plastic trim removal tool here. And these will just jam under here. We have one up front here, and then we'll have one towards the rear of the panel here. Next, we can grab the panel at the bottom, and we're just going to kind of I have to go over the hooks here. And then pull out. And that'll give us the access we need behind the taillights. 
Okay, with the inside panels loose, we're gonna go ahead and I'll take our panel removal tool. I'm just gonna pop that off. I'm gonna reach inside, pull the grommet off, kind of peel from the inside and pull like so. We'll pull that back and then we'll take the yellow and brown uh, wiring from our, from our harness and just go ahead and feed this through. So since our trailer wiring harness is going to be outside of here, we're going to cut into this grommet and we're going to go ahead and seal it up later in the video with some silicone. But for now, we'll just make a snip. We need to get below the groove here to allow our wire to come through. It'll be just like that. And then we'll silicone it back up. In the meantime, we can make our connections. Our trailer wiring harness is gonna plug directly into the vehicle harness. Snaps in, go ahead and set the lock. So with the driver's side tail light hooked up, we can turn our attention back in the cargo area and to our module. Now, we already know where we're gonna be getting the power and the ground from. We have a battery right here. So we can go ahead, the kit comes with uh, sticky tape here for mounting. I'm just gonna go ahead, place this on the back. Just press on there real good. Peel the other layer off. And we're gonna mount this down here by the battery box. And just press firmly, it'll keep it from vibrating. Now our only two connections under here are gonna be power and ground. We're gonna use uh, the battery box hold down as a ground, it's a good point. Uh, we're gonna take a 10 millimeter socket. You're gonna have these two that we have to loosen up. two nuts here. We can go ahead and lift up on the battery box. That'll expose our stud. Now, you can use a razor blade or anything. What we want to do is scuff this up to get rid of the paint that's on there so that we get a good ground. So with the stud scuffed up, We'll go ahead and we'll put the ring terminal on for the ground for our module first. We'll go ahead and reset our battery box on top. And then snug these nuts back up. Now to route our passenger side, that's going to be the red and green wires. I went ahead and just bundled them up. You get plenty of wire to come over to this other side, but I ran it underneath this battery tray here, across the bottom, and around the back side in our panel here, up and over the subwoofer, and out the back, just like we did on the driver's side. Okay, next step here, we're going to be connecting our power wire. Uh, we're going to run over here to the battery. Our kit comes with a section of power wire, uh, a fused connector, and some heat shrink butt connectors, and a ring terminal. So first thing we're going to do here is we'll cut the fused fuse holder here. We're going to go ahead and crimp the ring terminal on here. And then the other end will connect with a butt connector, crimp that on. So with the ring terminal crimped on, we went ahead and loosened this 13 millimeter nut and brought this up. Now these nuts are not designed to come off, so we went ahead and loosened it and we took our snips and snipped the end of the ring terminal so we could force it 
up and over. The stud here went ahead and tightened that back down. We ran down and connected up our power wire to our fuse link here with the supplied heat shrink butt connectors. We cut off a section of power wire that we hooked up to the lead on our module. And again, use the other supplied heat shrink butt connector and then heat shrink those down. So that'll do it for hooking up the power lead for our module. Now, I left the fuse out. This is really the last thing that you wanna do. Uh, after we hook up the tail lights and everything is done, then we can go ahead and put the fuse in. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the battery shroud. So before we put our tail lights back on, where we cut the grommet earlier, we went ahead and sealed that up with black RTV. And that'll just keep any moisture or dirt from entering into the car itself. So now we can go ahead and install the tail lights. We're gonna do this on the passenger side here. Take our connector, go ahead and clip that on. Now, unlike the factory connector that has a red lock on it, these don't, it's still okay. And the driver's side is gonna go on the exact same. Let's go ahead and line up your tail lights. Give it a push. Okay, over here on the driver's side, same steps. Go ahead, grab your harness, connect it up to the tail light, line it up, give it a push, and go ahead and reinstall the torx bits. Now with all of our electrical connections made, we'll go ahead and install the supplied 15 amp fuse into the fuse holder. So before we put the car back together on the inside here, it's a good time to test the functions and make sure that everything's working properly. So we're gonna go ahead and test the running lights. That's great. We can test left turn and then we'll test right turn and brake. Now that we know that everything works with the trailer wiring, we're gonna go ahead and put everything back together. And that's it for our look at the Takancha trailer wiring kit on our 2019 Chevrolet Volt.